we'll just start with with the most uh, with the first thing I guess that comes to mind in terms of just your excitement uh, being selected by Houston. What does it mean to you to now take this step and make the jump to MLS? Yeah, obviously it's uh, it's been a dream since I was four years old to to play professionally and to finally get the chance and to play for Houston Dynamo, which is a, a club that's rebuilding. It's it's very exciting and uh, yeah, I just I just can't wait and uh, look forward to it. We'll go with Mark Berman next. Mark, go ahead. Hey, Thor, congratulations on being here. What was it like when you got the call uh, from the Dynamo that you were their guy? Uh, it was absolutely fantastic. Uh, just hearing from Pat and Paolo talking about how much they, they trust me and and telling, telling me that I'm their guy is just unbelievable feeling. And, yeah, just really excited to get to work. What were the emotions inside you when you hung up and you knew you were a first-round pick in Major League Soccer? I was just over the moon. I mean, just just a kid from Iceland. Just, uh, I mean, it was it was unreal, unreal, absolutely unreal. And uh, yeah, as I said, just just can't wait to to get my head down and, and work for the club and hopefully achieve what what we want to do. In a nutshell, how do you go from Iceland to Duke to Houston, Texas? That is <laughs> that is a journey. Yeah, it is. It is. It's been it's been a it's been a wonderful journey of you know ups and downs, of course, but. You know, seeing seeing what what's happening with all with all the work that I've put in now is is is, is a fantastic feeling. But at the end of the day, I'm <clears throat> I want to go further, and uh, yeah, I can't wait to do it in Houston. Cool. Are you good, Mark? Anything, any additional follow? -up? I want I don't want to keep asking questions. I'll I'll let some other folks ask a couple things, and I'll I'll come back in a second. Gotcha. We'll jump to Jason here shortly. Thor, just to confirm, could you say your first and last name, just so that we have a pronunciation for of it? Uh, yeah, it's uh, Thorleifur Ulvarsson. One more time and a little slower, please. Okay, first name is Thorleifur. Second name is Ulvarsson. Gotcha. We'll jump over to Jason now. Jason, go ahead. Ulvarsson. Do I have it right? <laughs> Almost. You're getting there. You're getting there. <laughs> All right. So what did I do wrong? Uh, I mean, it's, I guess it's like, it's tough for, I don't know. It's tough for Americans to like roll their tongue the Icelandic way. So okay. I you still won't get mad if I say that then? Or? No, I still haven't heard an American say it right. So okay. you're fine. Um, everywhere, everywhere we, we see videos from you or about you. It's about goals, 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 goal score. Um, what do you think, um, or how do you think that's going to translate to the pro level and, and how quickly, um, do you think you can make an impact? Um, I think I'm ready. I'm obviously 21, which is, you know, I'm I'm not a 17 year old teenager anymore. But um, I really, <clears throat> I really finesse my game out out here in the states, and uh, you know, getting off that season, scoring all those goals. I mean, I believe I'm ready, and uh, I'm a fox in the box type of player. So if I get an opportunity to score a goal, I, I think I'm I'll be ready to be there. Is that something that um, you've always had, or is that something you've really had to work on and, and to, to improve on? I mean, it's a, it's definitely a thing you have to work on through the years. And, uh, um, but I've always been that natural born goal scorer and I've always scored goals since I was a young kid. So I guess it's a bit of both at the end of the day. I know it's not easy to talk about yourself like that, but thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> no worries. Hey, Edgar, um, I'm like, we'll jump back in here uh, with, with, let me see if I can say it. it's Ul Ulfarsson. Is that close? Yeah, it's close. It's close. And Thorleifer? Thorleifer. Oh, almost there. <laughs> almost there. Okay. I know the knucklehead that was doing the interview with you from MLS says average is 105 degrees in Houston, which is not true. But um, <laughs> you, when you heard Houston, what do you know about Houston? What was your first thoughts about Houston, Texas? I mean, not a lot, to be honest. I know, I know that it's, it's warm most of the time. So, I mean, to me, that's, that's great. I mean, I've lived in Iceland my whole life and it's pretty cold and I don't like the cold. So <laughs> it's, uh, I, I love being drafted by Houston and uh, love seeing what the club is trying to build and I'm ready for it. How do you play soccer in Iceland? Um, it's, it's, it's pretty complicated, but um, they have good facilities. Um, despite the fact that we're only 300,000 and they develop a lot of players. So 
we have a lot of indoor indoor facilities on the turf so i mean it's it's not that bad and then our season's mo- mostly in the summer like four months spending over the summer so yeah then we go outside and have some fun if you could if you could introduce yourself to dynamo fans what would you like them to know about you um i just say i'm a humble humble guy and uh i put my head down and and try to do my absolute best for for the team that i play for and uh yeah, just can't wait to see the fans and and get to know them and uh, yeah, start playing for the club. Is there a player or two that comes to mind that you pattern your style or your game or somebody you emulate that kind of thing? Yeah, I'd probably say Tati Castellanos in the MLS. Thanks. We'll go Thanks, with Matt. We'll go with Victor. Victor, go ahead. Hey, I'm, I'm going to stick to Thor, and then uh, once I learn a little better, I'll, I'll try to perfect it. Um, how did you get the opportunity to come over to the United States? I mean, I, I saw, read a little bit about you. You came up through the youth system in Iceland, but when did you get the opportunity to come over to the college game? And, and you know, just talk about that, that journey. Yeah, so there's an agency back home that um, helps players get out to the U.S. and, and, and um, do the academic side of things along with the with the football so for the soccer sorry i'm uh yeah they helped me get out here and uh just to to receive interest from duke university it was 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 crazy to me and i jumped on the opportunity straight away and uh yeah i just i didn't know the soccer was was rated that highly over here and it was great to come out here and and uh get better as a player and and then coming you know getting the opportunity to go to the draft and then now here at houston i mean yeah, it's, it's just, it was great. A lot of fans now have seen your, your video, your goal against UCLA. Uh, is that the kind of personality they can expect? Um, no, nah, I mean, a lot was said, between, um, mostly from the keeper to me, but, you know, it's a, <clears throat> it's a thing that I'm going to leave in the past. And, and uh, yeah, I, I learned from that experience. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm – I think I'm more mature after that experience. So no, I don't. I don't think I'll. I'll be doing any of those things in the MLS. You look like a player that that doesn't uh, let a lot of things bother you. Uh, there's, there's rumors that there's potential signing, multi-million dollar player coming to Houston, a guy you'll be fighting. Uh, you know the forward spot for. Uh, I imagine you welcome the competition, no matter uh, what the dollar figures are. Yeah, of course. I mean, at the end of the day, soccer is soccer, and anything can happen. And, uh, I'm just ready to come in there first day of preseason, put my head down and work as hard as I can. And, you know, may, you know, the better players gonna play and, and, you know, it's hopefully it's me and, you know, everything, everything will be good. So, uh, you know, you, you get the, you know, the work you put in, you get what you, you put in. So yeah, at the end of the day, just got to work hard and, and, and love the grind. Last one for me. Um, this might, this one might be hard to remember a game you had against Pittsburgh. Uh, you faced off against Ordonez, who's now your teammate that got selected in the third round. What do you remember about him uh, and just, you know, that, that coincidence of you, you two now playing at Houston Dynamo or, or drafted by Houston Dynamo? Yeah, no, I, I watched a lot of Pitt. And, um, <clears throat> and Arturo, Arturo is a great player. Um, can play with his feet out from the back and uh, was a really tough, tough defender to play against. So I look forward to meeting him and uh, I heard he's a great guy. So. Yeah, look forward to meeting him and uh, playing with him. Thank you for that. I think we'll go with Christian next. Christian, go ahead. All right. Uh, hey, Thor, this is Christian from uh, Dynamo Theory. Uh, my question is kind of piggybacking of what Victor just asked you about the, you know, competing for the for the number nine position. So, you know, technically the Dynamo still doesn't have a number nine on their roster. So that obviously gives you the chance to go and fight for it. So, you know, you going in into this roster, how does it feel to know that, you know, there's a there's a chance for you to maybe, you know, get that uh, starting number nine position? Yeah, it feels great, um, especially hearing from Pat and Paolo, just the, the trust they have in me and they believe believe I can do sh- things straight away on the pitch. That's absolutely fantastic to hear. And, yeah, I'm just going to put my head down, work, love the grind, and then, you know, if I, if I play, I'll play. If I don't, I don't. I'll work hard no matter what. I appreciate it. Good luck, man. Thank you. Up next, we'll go with Dustin. Dustin, go ahead. Is 
Sorry, can you hear me, Edgar? Yes, we can. Hey, Thor, congratulations. Um, you mentioned uh, Pat and Paulo. Have you got a chance to talk to Pat or, or Paulo? And um, if so, what did they kind of tell you about your role this year and um, what, what you're going to bring to the team? Uh, yeah, they uh, they just called me straight after getting drafted and, uh, you know, kind of just congratulated me and, and told, me, told me to soak in the day. And we didn't really go into detail about my role in the team and stuff like that. That will probably happen straight straight in the first day of preseason. So, yeah, just look forward to look forward to uh, working with Paolo and, and Pat. And, uh, yeah, very excited for it. Edgar, I'd like to jump back in if that's okay. Yes. Justin, did you have a follow-up before we go to Mark? Uh, no, go ahead, Mark. Oh, no, you know, whatever, whatever you want to do. I, I thought you, yeah, I thought you were done, right? No, I'm, First, done. I'm done. Go ahead, Mark. Or was it a tough decision for you to, to leave Duke when you still had eligibility left? Or was it, was it a fairly easy decision? Um, to be honest with you, I, um, <clears throat> I wanted to be a professional my whole life, and I thought it was going to be an absolute no-brainer leaving – my college, whatever college I was going to, to go pro, but, um, it was, it was very tough. I spent two weeks just going over in my head. I just could not get to a decision, but at the end of the day, I just thought I have to go chase my dreams and this is my dream. And yeah, here we are. I need to ask you one question. It's probably going to make me sound naive. Please don't roll your eyes for everybody to see, but you handle our language with ease. Is it typical for someone from Iceland to speak English as well? Or you just, you just, you just, you just picked it up quickly on your own? Yeah, maybe, maybe not the accent, but yeah, it's, uh, we learn English from a very young age. So I think pretty much every, most Icelandic people are, are pretty good at English. So yeah, it's, it's, it's not a tough thing for us. Yeah, I looked it up and said the typical language here is like Northern, or some sort of Northern Germanic language. Does that sound right to you? That's what's kind yeah, of standard. It's, yeah, it's it's very unique and uh, <laughs> it's very hard to to learn. So, yeah. Look forward to covering you. And congratulations. Thank you.